Yeah, so back in this book, Maya Secrets of Their Ancient World. Okay, we're gonna go to page page four. Okay, and um, page four in the second paragraph. Okay, um, the the exhibition explores life in the royal court royal courts revealing the relationship that connected Maya rulers to each other their followers the environment the cosmos and the passage of time visitors will also learn that unlike other ancient civilizations such as the Aztecs the Mayan civilization was never an empire unified by a, a single governing body, okay? And that's why too, um, like, it, it, you know, it, it, was, it was an empire. Empire doesn't mean that it just has to be one tribe there, you know what I mean? And um, to the, um, the, the, the ones that, um, that were in the priesthood of the stargazers and, and knew what to do, you know what I mean? Through um, dealing with the calendar and all sorts of stuff, they were Issachar, okay? But the warriors and the kings, you know what I mean? Those were Zebulon, okay? That's what made up the Mayan, um, uh, the Mayan Empire, okay? Um, so let me read that again. Visitors will also learn that unlike other ancient civilizations such as the Aztecs, the Maya civilization was never an empire unified by a single governing body. Instead, numerous independent city-states sharing similar trades, practices, beliefs were all considered Maya. The Maya developed astrono uh, astronomy as well as the complex cal calendar system and an elaborate writing system. Okay? So, they had a, a writing which was um, a corrupt form of Hebrew, okay? And, and, and when they first came there, they, 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 um, they, had, they had the Hebrew down packed, all right? The Paleo-Hebrew. And a lot of them still knew how to write the Paleo-Hebrew, but a lot of them spoke, um, spoke, spoke a corrupted form of Hebrew and some of them spoke um, the actual Hebrew and s same with the writing, you know? So let me read that again. The Maya developed astronomy as well as a complex calendar system and an elaborate writing system. They were also known for their highly adorned architecture such as temple pyramids, palaces, and, and observatories, okay? And what was that for? To see the stars, to see the heavens, all right? Which was Issachar's blessing, okay? So now I'm gonna get into this book here. Um, Lost Tribes and Promised Lands, okay? By Randall Sander Sanders, okay? And we're gonna go to Page 87. This is page 87. Okay. So let me get down here. Okay. So this is page 87 from Lost Tribes and Promised Land. Okay. For with increasing frequency and conviction, uh, Duran came to see elements of Judaic character in the old Aztec religion. At first, this Tendency appears only as a fervent search for Jewish um, <laughs> analogies uh, provoked by Aztec customs such as eating of only unleavened bread on certain days of the year, which was the Passover, the um, prohibition of drinking liquids after the eating of certain ritual foods, and the use of baths for purification. In time, this begins to see, I mean, 
to seem to uh, Duran like overwhelming evidence that the Indians are indeed descended from the lost tribes of Israel. Okay. Um, now I'm going to get another part of this book, which is um, page 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 364 okay so I'm gonna start up here uh, the two men waited so this is page 364 lost tribes and promised land the two men waited eventually a canoe appeared bearing three men and a woman all of them Indians to a place where um, Fra Francisco and Montez Montezinos were standing at the water edge. The woman got off and spoke to Francisco in an Indian tongue that Montezino could not understand, although he could perceive that he was being identified in the conversation she then turned to her male companions to explain the situation upon hearing her words they rose went over to Montanzino's and to his utter astonishment said Shamaya uh, Yerizel uh, Adawam Elahim Adawam Ahud which is really in the Paleo Hebrew Shamaya Yasha'ala which is here O Israel the Lord God I mean the Lord our God the Lord is one they had recited in Hebrew the fundamental credo of Judaism okay now down here they told him that they were themselves of the tribe of Reuben and that the tribe of Joseph lived on an island nearby, which is Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans. Okay, they lived on an island nearby, and also the Cubans, because Manessa came out of um, Joseph as well. Okay, so don't, don't you guys live on islands? So this is proof, proof written. Okay, and the Bi and the Bible is proof enough, but we do our research, so we're gonna bring out the historical books. Okay. So now I'm going to read here. The God of these children of Israel is the true God. They had said, and everything inscribed on their tablets is true. At the end of days, they will be lords of all the nations on the earth. One nation will come bringing many things to this land. And after we have all been provided for these children of Israel will go forth from where they now are and reign over the whole earth as they once did okay so these are um, undeniable proof that the Mayans the Aztecs um, the people on the Caribbean islands are, are Israelites okay so now we're gonna go back to the lesson I dwell because um, it goes into well, when you look at the history it goes into the Olmecs but the Olmecs were Hamites who King Solomon had sent over there okay and they built up monuments but they didn't stay you know so they went back so Israel was the first people to conquer to have this land occupy, as a possession yeah. occupy it yeah. you know they just came and, and to get the resources and go back go back and uh, give it to King Solomon. Yeah. That was basically it. And then when, when you look into the same, it's the same time span to go, a year and a half, and then a year and a half to come back, you know? So that's how long it took for you guys to come there, and um, you know, yep. and you guys stayed. That's why you're still here. Yep, that's right. It says, but they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never man uh, uh, kind the world. That they might there keep their statute, which they never kept in their own land, and they enter into the Euphrates by the narrow passage of the river, 
for the Most High then shewed signs for them in hell still the flood till they were passed over. For there, Flock it says, for through that country there was a great way to go, namely a year and a half. And the same region is called Arsareth, uh, which I believe is called uh, New Land. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, I, I think it tells you there. It tells you New Region or something yeah, like that. Yeah, uh, it says in, um, no, it says uh, for through that country there was a great way to go, namely a year and a half. And the same region is called Asareth. Okay. Then dwelt there, uh, they there until the latter times. And now when they shall begin to come. Yeah, so that's talking about the Negroes coming over there on slave ships, which are your brothers. Okay. Yeah. Flashes, yeah. 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 Um Yeah, so so we're gonna try to find one more scripture for you brothers. And um that's gonna be it. Okay. But yeah, did you, did you have any, any, anything to say? Uh, you know, just brothers, you know, you can get into the spirit, try to go out there. Yeah, you go know? to the museums, man. You know, see what this devil is hiding in, in these buildings, man. Yeah, for sure. unto himself as he has sworn unto thee all right so that's what he sworn unto unto us okay it's for us to be a holy people which holy means separate okay as he has sworn unto thee if thou shalt keep the commandments of the lord thy god and walk in his ways and the minds weren't walking in his ways all right and there was more documents that that that, that we that we could have brought out but you know we don't got that much time mm -hmm. you know um, and all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. All right. So when so when the um, when the Spanish came over here, they were afraid of the uh, the when the English came too as well. They were afraid of the Native Americans, you know, because of the way that they were going to war, guerrilla warfare. You think? You think the Spanish, like, okay, you, you, you Mayans and you Incas and you Aztecs, you had things that the so-called white man, the Edomites, uh, don't even know how to begin to build, and you're telling me that he's a more advanced civilization than you? Now you worship him, you know what I mean? And, and, and you build things that he can't even build? He doesn't even know where to begin? He thinks, he, th he, th he thinks uh, uh, aliens built it? You know, green men built it, helped build that. No, it was Israelite men that built that, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the Bible tells you that too. Okay, that's in uh, Exodus. Um, yeah, did you have something? No, because um, I got Genesis to 49 and 23, where it talks about um, basically the prophecy of Joseph, mm -hmm. which, you know, consists of Ephraim. Yeah. And um, basically it says the archers have sorely grieved him yeah. and shot at him and hated him. Mm -hmm. And you know, the archers were the Spaniards, you know? Oh, 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 oh what verse was that? Uh, the 23rd verse. Okay. In the 49th chapter. Yeah. Because, well, you know, the, the conquistadors, they didn't only come to you mind. They went to, you know, the old, all the Latin tribes, you yeah. know? You know, and then, you know, they basically, they, they fucked you up, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole... Okay. Yeah, so, you know, the camera cut out, and you know, you've seen that it got a little bit darker, you know, because we're, we're willing to do this work to show our people, the elect of our people, who they are. You see what I'm saying? So, we're, so where we left off at was uh, Exodus 1 and 11. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens, and they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, uh, Pithium and... Ramses, which were pyramids and temples 
and other great structures that we built for the Egyptians. So when the, uh, the, the house of Israel came over to the Americas, they built the same. That's why there's things with the Tomex, the Incas, the Aztecs, and the Mayans. Okay, and now we're gonna get into some historical proof because the Bible proves that you're Israelites, but some of you people need historical proof, you know, and, and we'll bring it out because that that's what the brothers of GMS go into. We go into history, not like uh, uh, Gerhano, uh, General uh, Gehenna, okay? So this here, this here is a book called Christopher Columbus and the Participation of the Jews in the Spanish and Portuguese discoveries, okay? So now, I'm gonna start at page. Yeah, you know, brothers that mm -hmm. can't afford books, just print it. Yeah, print it, you know, yeah. this is this was printed, you know? Sure. And then there's a next thing, e-books. Just go and try to see, you know, yep. if you can get it on an e-book, you know? Yep. Um, so, okay, so now this here is page 96, Mon Montesinos who possessed the manuscripts of Luis Lopez, the learned bishop of uh, Quitos, which is uh, in Ecuador, was convinced that the Peruvians were of Jewish origin. All right, so you Peruvians are Israelites, okay? The Bible says it and historical proof says it, okay? Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna go into another thing where um, on page 97, right? Even in recent times, the Englishman, Lord Kingsborough, devoted his time, his attainments, and the greater part of his large fortune to the publication of a collection of American documents in order to prove the Jewish origin of the Americans which is talking about you Native Americans, you Latinos, you Mayans, you, Inc you Incas and Aztecs, okay? And then the next thing too, where, where is this large collection that, that, he, um, that he put together? They're uh, found in different, different books. So that's why brothers have got to go to the libraries, brothers got to go to the museums. And some of the books are hidden away, but some of them are, are, are just hard to find. So you got to just find them, you know? Uh, it is not... Um, in, improbable that the Jews who were driven from Nevin by Salamander wandered into in uninhabited regions, all right? And that's what the Bible told you, which is the Americas, all right? According to uh, uh, Harariah, the Indians uh, cherished the tradition that uh, Yucatan had been settled by the tribes from the Orient. All right, so no, that, that, that's a lie. That's talking about you guys came from Asians, okay? So this, so, so this is disinformation and information, man, okay? Um, and then the word Orient, you know, goes yeah, back, yeah, yeah, goes word back east, to the- East. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, so you guys did come from the East, the Middle East, <laughs> yeah, all right? Yeah, but they Well, you're not Moabites, you're yeah. not Ammonites. That's right. Because like I was telling this brother before, look, look at the lands that Moabite inhabits now. China, uh, uh, Ammon got um, Japan, and, and those other Asian countries, right? Mm -hmm. So you're telling me that they they also took, took uh, have America as a possession, and the Bible ain't gonna speak about it, but then the Bible talks about America, and um, what, it's not gonna tell you that Moab was living in America before uh, Esau came there, yeah. you know? So that's uh, that's all a big lie, you see what I'm saying? And that's foolishness that you people are per perpetrating out there that all the Israelites were Negroes, okay? Because all Israelites ain't gonna be looking like um, Shaft, okay? Or uh, Wesley Snipes, okay? We come from different variations of, uh, of colors, okay? Yeah, so, you know, different shades of brown, okay? Um, several writers give the extent route by which the Jews traveled until they settled in Cuba, okay? Um, yeah, so we're gonna get, we're gonna get some more scriptures, okay? Proven that, um, that you, that, that you, um, 
Latinos are Israelites, okay? So now I'm gonna start with um, with Hosea 4. I'm gonna start with Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me seeing thou hast forgotten the law of God. And when you go into Mayas, Incas and Aztecs, they forgot the law of God, you know, but they just carried on bits of their ancient tradition, which was Hebrew tradition, Israelite tradition. I will also forget thy children. And he forgot our children during the time of the conquistadors, during the time that we were taken down, you know? But now he's remembering our children and wants to wake up the elect of our people because two thirds of our people are going off into all different doctrines thinking that they're Asian, all right? Or thinking that they're Japhet. I had a Ecuador man tell me that he was Japhet. Okay, what what proof is that? What scripture is that? You know what I mean? So, yeah, that that's why the Lord for, forgot his uh, his children because you're going into too many doctrines. Okay. But now he's he's calling back the elect, okay? Because he's not looking for every Latino or Hispanic man. He ain't looking for Jennifer Lopez or Mark Anthony or uh, Pitbull or Big Pun or um, or Fat Joe, okay? Yeah unless they come out of those things that they're doing. And then Whitney Houston died. She knew that she was an Israelite. Sorry for going off the topic, but you know, she knew that she was an Israelite, but, but what, like the elder said, she didn't give no money to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to any of the camps. She didn't, she didn't come out on national TV and say, I'm an Israelite and, and you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans have to come back to your heritage because you know how much people would have came back to their heritage and, 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 and she dropped the mic. You know, and said, yo, I'm done, I'm an Israelite, I'm finished, you know, I, I hope America gets destroyed. She didn't do that, you know. So she loved the world, and you know, you, you people out there shouldn't care about care about people that are in the world, you know. But two-thirds got to go, you know. So this is Hosea 4 and 17. Ephraim is joined to idols, let him alone, okay. And, uh, you know, Ephraim, Ephraim consists of um, the whole house of Ephraim, you know, yeah. not just the Puerto Ricans. But you Cubans, you know, you um, you Gadites, you so-called Native Americans, uh, you Brazilians, you know, even you so-called Mayans, man. Because, you know, that whole kingdom, that whole empire was based off idol worship, man. You know, you serving all these different gods, man. The gods of death, the gods of uh, the sea world, yeah. the skies, you know. Um... Uh, yeah, 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 so let me get another thing here. Um, this is uh, Hosea 7 and seven and 8. Mm -hmm. Ephraim, uh, ha, he had mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake not turned. That's why there's light-skinned Isra Israelites and dark-skinned Israelites, mm -hmm. all right? Latinos and Native Americans. That doesn't mean that they're not Israelites if they're too dark or if they're too light, okay? Strangers have devoured his strength, and he knoweth it not. Yeah, Yea, gray hairs are here and there upon him, yet he knoweth it not. So you don't know that you're oppressed. You're, yeah. you're going to these museums. A lot of Latinos we've seen in this museum, they don't know that they're oppressed. They don't know that they're the most oppressed people on this earth. Yeah. Okay? They, they look at uh, Seizure Bourget, and then they don't know that the so-called white man basically pushed that in their faces, man. That they went through hard bondage just to just uh, accept that, man. Right? You know, yeah. the so-called white man—he's your enemy. He's not your friend. You know. Yeah. Um, and the pride of Israel testifieth to his face, and they do not return to the Lord their God, yeah. nor seek Him, for all his or uh, for for all this. Ephraim also is a silly dove without heart. They call to Egypt. They go to Samaria. So, you know, they're believing in America. They're, they're a very silly dove, man. Okay? And then there's also a verse where it says, Ephraim shall bring his children to the murderer. So you bring your children over here thinking everything fine and daddy and the roads are paved with yep. gold. And then, and then you end up getting killed, man. Okay? Just like those uh, Peruvians uh, who died there in Canada, man. Uh, well, we're in Canada. Yeah, down there uh, up northern Canada working on the farms. They're, they're, they're silly doves, you know? because they're really working slavery, sharecropping, 
sharecropping, which is uh, slavery of the 21st century, you know? And uh, they died in that, and, and you know, there's gangs, you know? You got your Latin Kings, MS-13s. You come down here thinking that you're gonna leave that stuff alone back in your own country, and you end up getting killed up here, you know? Um, yeah, so... Let me get this, let me get this, yeah. eight, 8 and 8. Israel is swallowed up now. Shall they be among the Gentiles? So who are the Gentiles? Those are the other nations, the Arabs, the white man, the, the Paki man, the, um, the, uh, the Gooks, the Chinese, yep. all right? As a vessel wherein is no pleasure, all right? So they don't have pleasure being around you people, okay? Unless you're profiting them, all right? A lot of times, these heathens just chill with you just because they, they, they get more popular, you know, yeah. because you're the one with the, with the, with the, uh, with the Zaz or whatever you want to call yeah. it. You're with the swag, you know? Can you get, um, Revelation, the 11th chapter? Revelation me? 11? Yeah. Okay. And, um, I think it's, where it talks about the two witnesses. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's good, man. Yeah. That's good. Because, you know, the brothers that are out there who are Negroes, uh, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're representative of those two witnesses, you know? Yeah. Two witnesses are uh, the house of Judah and the house of Ephraim, right? Yeah. All right. So, um, I think, um, you wanted me to start at three, one and three, no? Uh, yeah, read it. Um, Revelations 1, I mean, Revelations 11 and 3. And I will give power unto my two witnesses and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sidecloth. You, you want me to keep going? Yeah, keep These going. are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeds out of their mouth and devours their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must be killed in this um, manner. I mean, he must in this manner be killed, he, all right? Yeah. And and then after two, the, the fire that's proceeding out of our mouth is with these holy scriptures, and actually we're gonna have spiritual power, okay? Um, these have power to shut heaven, so that's spiritual power, that it reign not in the days of their prophecy and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will and when they shall uh when uh, when they shall have finished their testimony the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them uh yeah so so the beast there is a uh, nato okay he's gonna make war on us he's gonna prosecute us just like back in the ancient world for bringing out this truth and their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, which is spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, which is called Sodom because we have big homosexuality being pro, uh, uh, promoted on our people and throughout this country, okay? America, Canada, and other parts of the world, yeah, you know? Read, but read. it's talking about America, which is the great city, yeah, you know? Yeah, read, read seven again. Um, yeah, 11 and 7. Yeah, 11 and 7. And when they they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. Yeah, because that's, talk, that's talking about the time of um, the Renaissance. Yeah. Right, because the bottomless pit is uh, the caves of Europe. Yeah, the you know, caves of the Europe. Top, you know, the is um, Georgia, Russia. Yeah. All right, and then that happened during the time of um, when we came down um, as the empire yeah. during the time of the Byzantine empires and then the Renaissance started coming up and taking us down. Yeah. That's how they overcame us and they killed us. Yeah. And, and, th and then too, yeah, when, when they came over here and killed you Incas and Mayans and Aztecs, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, so that's what it was. That yeah. was the beginning of the beast, yeah. you know? And then Na NATO is the beast now. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, we're also, okay, so I'm gonna start at uh, eight. Yeah. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. yeah, Sodom and Egypt. That's spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, you mm -hmm. know? 
because you have a lot of people talk when they read the scriptures they think that um yeah this happened a long time ago that's talking about the ancient egypt no it's talking about america man you know because america upholds the customs of ancient egypt the customs of uh sodom and all the other kingdoms you know if you look around you know toronto you see like different um symbols uh like the what do you call it uh the phallic symbols like on this window right here yeah. you, see, you can see a dicks yeah you know uh groves you know represents groves as well you know the yeah. way the arch the arch on the windows you know yeah uh this chinese buddha buddha something you know <laughs> and uh yeah man oh. so, so so we're gonna go back to this book here how, well, how, how much time is left um, oh 12 minutes but, oh, 12 minutes yeah, oh. keep reading to a ninth verse until um so you, okay. you're okay. Okay, yeah, read it, read yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, cause um, the brother, cause the point is that um, nine and ten, cause you're mentioning about how these these other nations, how they enjoy when you don't know yourself. You yeah. Know? Cause uh, it says in, Yeah, and those people were rejoicing in the museum, man. When when we went to go see that, okay. Yeah. It says, and they of the people and kindred and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies. Because the dead body's talking about you dead to your nationality. Yeah. You're not knowing who you are. All right? It says, And they shall see your dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. Yeah. Meaning not to tell you who you are. You yeah. know? It says, And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them, mm -hmm. and make merry, and shall send gifts one to another because, which was us yep. you know they sent us as slaves one to another you know and you latinos went into slavery do your history man okay because these two witnesses tormented them that dwell upon the earth yeah and after three days and a half the spirit of life from the most high entered into them and they stood upon their feet and that's that's the brothers that you see it before you man yeah then you know letting our people know who they are according to the scriptures and then it mentions the three days and a half. That's talking about until the time of um, Abba Bivens, man. Yeah. All right. It says, uh, I believe, uh, 1960s, 1970s, around those times. It says, um, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And that's you other nations, man. Yeah. You know, you, you fear that the fact that we, we started to know who we are as a nation, you know, that we're telling these, uh, you so-called white people that you're, that you're the devil and that we're the greatest people on the planet Earth, man. All right? And by us doing this lesson, we're letting you Latin tribes know that, you know, yeah. that the Mayans, uh, the Aztecs, that was you on your on the left-hand side, man. You got to come back to you on the right-hand yeah, side, man. All right? Stop worshiping all the other gods and get back to the, the, um, the true God, man. Yeah. The Holy One of Israel, Yahweh. Yeah. And his son Yahweh Shai. Yeah, so yep. so let me get yeah. this from this book here. Alright, All right, so from this book here again, uh, Christopher Columbus and the Participation of the Jews in the Spanish and Portuguese Discoveries. Alright, this is uh, page 98. And in page 98, um, uh, Rondell's chief argument in support of his view is the language of the Indians in. Uh, Isp uh, Hispaniola, Cuba, Jamaica, and the adjoining islands, he contains that in uh, that it has many resemblance to Hebrew. All right. Yeah. In fact, he even calls it corrupt Hebrew. So that's what the Mayans were speaking, the Incas, the Aztecs, the Arawaks, the um, Baliquas, the Tainos. Yep. Okay. He asserts that such names as Cuba and uh, Haiti are Hebrew and that they were first applied by the earliest um, uh, uh, Kaniks, the chiefs or leaders who discovered and peopled the islands. Okay? Um, and then now, here, here is another part um, on page uh, 89 again. So their, their rites and ceremonies as well as their language from one of the main arguments in favor of this theory of uh, descent, uh, circumcision prevailed among the Indians, so the Incas, Mayans, and Aztecs. They often bathed in rivers and streams, so they were, they were clean people, all right? They were no dirty people. 
they refrained from touching the dead and from the tasting of blood, they had definite feast days, marriage with sister and sisters-in-laws was permitted if they were childless widows. Wives were discarded uh, for new helpmates, okay? Um, they, uh, they also sacrificed first fruits on high mountains under shady trees. They had temples and carried a holy ark before them in time of war, all right? They were also like the 10 tribes inclined to idol worship, the Mayas, Incas, and Aztecs, okay? Um, all writers and travelers agree, moreover, that there were many Jewish types of faith among the Indians, the Aborigines of America. The question whether the American Indians are descendants of the Jews, whether they are the offspring of the last 10 tribes, has often been answered in both the affirmative and negative but it has not yet been definitely settled. How is it definitely settled? It's through the Bible, That's through right. the historical books, not through no damn, uh, a whole bunch of history books and people thinking that you're Asian, all right? This, you have to put the facts together through the Bible. Everything got to be filtered through the Bible, That's right. okay? That's, so why now, the, that's why in Ecclesiastes it says, uh, making a many of books, there's no end. Right? Yeah, there's no end, okay? So now, how, how much time is left? Four minutes. Four minutes? And then the customs also that um, that the Incas, uh, the Aztecs, and the Mayans keep, as well as the Native Americans, is the fringes on their ponchos, right? Yeah. That goes back to numbers, right? Yeah, which which over there, they wanted to sell the poncho for $100, yeah, man. Like Make money off of our people. Yep. All right, so this is from the book Maya, Maya, um, the secret of, of the, the ancient secrets of the lost world, okay. right? Um, Warfare and sacrifice. The Maya ideal of combat was a heroic face-to-face -face battle between opponents wielding spears, clubs, and axes. One of the goals of the warfare was a capture of an opponent. An action uh, uh, reference in the uh, glyph kata, he is seized, roped. Though some captives were dispatched on the field of battle, many were taken back as trophies by the victors. Captured warriors were generally represented alone with their arms bound and stripped of their clothes, ears, uh, spools, and other uh, uh, signified of rank, all right? And those air spools are, are those things that make your ear look big like the Hamites were doing, okay? Um, um, captives were often presented to rulers, humiliated, uh, mutilated and even sacrificed prisoners are frequently shown uh, gruesome in pain and pledging for their lives but the uh, but the partly noble uh, decapitated in this figurine seems to be facing death with dignity all right so that's what you Israelites got to be facing man death with dignity and there's only one minute left you know so this is a thing on the Mayan uh, cultures okay and uh, this was a whole lesson showing that minds are Israelites. Yep. So yeah, so all praises to Yahweh B'Shem Yahweh That's right. Um, double honors to the elders, great millstone. Okay. And your brothers go out to the museum. Shalom to your brothers that's out there doing the work. Yep. And you know, this is Brother Kapayim. Brother Maya Kala. Yeah, and we're signing off. Shalom. Shalom. Yeah, so this is back in this book, Mayan uh, Secrets of Their Ancient World. Okay. Um... I'm gonna go to page, page eight. Okay. And this here is a chart that shows you pre-classic, classic period, post-classic, uh, Spanish uh, colonial and post-colonial, okay? So this here. All right. So this is a this is a little map, okay. Um, answering who built these cities. So this is page eight of Maya uh, secrets of their ancient world. Answering who built these cities is as simple as looking at the people who now live around these cities. The Maya are not a vanished people. Today there are some ten million Maya individuals bound loosely together by their shared cultural and uh, 
lingistic heritage, extending over an area roughly the size of California, the Maya world um, encompassed coastal swamps, lush jungles, um, arid plains, and high um, Sierra on land found in present-day Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. The roots of the modern Maya can be traced back in this region to at least the first villages which were settled around um, uh, 12, uh, 12,000 1200 BCE as population increased sites grew in both size and complexity and around 500 BCE the Maya world world was already dotted with pyramids elite residence residencies and elaborate tombs the largest building ever constructed by the ancient Maya were built by the first century CE at cities such as El Miradon in Guatemala, El Miradon, uh, tallest temple, La Dante, is one of the largest pyramids in the world, rising approximately 70 meters above the surrounding forests okay so yeah you know in, in, in some of these books they, they're getting the times off wrong you know what I mean but this is just basically just to show you the history of, of what, what was going on with our people okay so now this here is a book called the history of the Ojibwe um, Indians with special reference to their conversion to Christianity okay so on page 37 okay we see here much has of late years been said that the written uh, said and written on the theory of the American Indian uh, North American Indians having descended from the ten lost tribes of Israel which they are the tribe of Gad Okay. Certainly many of the customs and sacrifices of the Indians resemble very much those of the children of Israel, such as observing days of purification, offering the first fruits of the of the earth, burnt offerings and reckoning time by moons. Okay? Now this is from another book okay this is uh, a view of the American Indians by uh, Samuel Worsley okay so now this here is in favor of the latter argument uh, work was recently been published from which we extract the following uh, analog, uh, uh, analog, uh, yeah, analogy between those tribes and the ancient Israelites. What tribes? The tribes of the Americas. Okay. They are a very religious people. All right, and you know that between Latinos and Native Americans, they're very religious. Okay, and yet have um, entirely escaped the idolatry of the old world okay because a lot of a lot of tribes were going off in idolatry okay but the but 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 the thing is that some of them were actually keeping the laws okay when the white man came over there okay um they acknowledge one god the great spirit who created all things seen and unseen the name by which is being is known to them is Al, the old Hebrew name of God. He is also called Yahowah, which is Yahweh in 
the uh, Lashwa and Kodash, okay, because they were speaking a corrupt form of the name, okay. Sometimes, yeah, just like the Puerto Ricans, the Tainos down there in uh, Puerto Rico were saying, yeah, yeah, and also Abat, right, which is um, means father. For this great being, they possess a high reverence, calling him the head of their community and themselves his favorite people. You are a special people, man. You're Israelites, okay? You natives and you Latinos, okay? And you Negroes, okay? They believe that he was more favorable to them in old times than he is now, that their fathers were in covenant with him, that he talked with them and favored them. They are distinguishedly heard to sing and their religious dances hallelujah and praise to Yah other remarkable sounds go out of their mouths okay um, and then this this is some um, some native tongue okay but they profess not to know the meaning of these words only that they learn to use them upon sacred occasions okay um, they kept annual feasts which resemble those of the mosaic ritual a feast of first fruits which they do not permit themselves to taste until they have made an offering of them to God all right so you know the name is Yahweh okay and I hope in this lesson okay you um, you understood that you know the Mayans are Israelites the Native Americans are Israelites Seminole Indians are Israelites uh, Latinos uh, indigenous people the people the Latinos that come out of indigenous peoples okay of, of the Americas are Israelites Okay, and I like to say shalom.